everybody, welcome back to Upcap, playing Sip -a -bip -a Mario. So I'm currently in chapter 3-4, right in front of Fort Francis. I have to admit, for being a super creepy uh, chameleon, geeky dude with a uh, butterfly fetish, he has a pretty badass home. <laughs> so we need to go uh, inside and find Tippy, and uh, find the pure heart as well. But what does the sign say? No entry unless you are a super genius like me or a totally hot babe. Stay out. Okay, need to find the key to this door. And I'm being blocked right here. Looks like I may need to go down the pipe. That'd be a good idea. And it seems like I probably need to grab Thorough. In order to uh, hit the block up there with uh, this thing. Uh, that works. Okay. I'll, I'll take it. Uh, that would be a chest. You got a fort key. A key to a Fort Francis door. Awesome. Uh, is there anything in 3D? Not seeing anything. So uh, let, let's uh, move on back outside and... Uh, well, probably want to check further 3D over here since I don't know if I checked everything. Never know, there might be something. I don't see anything necessarily. So I think I'll just go ahead and go through the door now. Ought to be a good idea. Use the fort key that I found. And that looks like a wind-up robot butler of some sort. I don't think it's an enemy, actually. Welcome home, master. Okay, I should, pro I should probably save while I'm here. Doesn't seem like there's really much in here. What about 3D? Oh. Well, that's super weird. And also totally awesome. There's a, a pipe back here behind the door. Would not know it was there if I didn't go into 3D. And we appear to be underground. These guys are- oh, these guys are enemies. Oh god. Oh god. I'm trying to do the- the, the uh, stylish moves. That one didn't work very well, but I, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Um... Can I go down this pipe? No? Can't... See what I'm supposed to do here? Can I flip this over? No? I guess I have to be in 2D to flip that over. I assume the pipe... Yeah, I'm, I assume that's the pipe that just goes back over there. Um, I think I just need to jump up here and then I'll be on top of this thing. What does the sign say? Fort Francis's eyes only. Room on the right, 2323. Two, three. Room on the left, 2828. Two, Probably gonna be some uh, passcodes that I need to, need to remember. So left is 2828, two, right is 2323. Two, three. Hopefully, I'll, I'll try to remember that, but I can't make any guarantees. Hello. You look like a pixel buddy, and I don't think I can get through the bars. Hey there. You seem friendly, so give me a hand. If not, give me a hand anyway. I like one of the uh, shaken letters from the previous block of text. It's still, still shaking in this block, too. That's pretty funny. Um, maybe that? No? I think I might need to do a butt stomp. Dudley, help me out, man. You're free! Freedom! I finally am out. I didn't know what I was going to do. Thank you. Thank you so much. I've been shut there. I've been shut up in here forever. You'll never catch me in there again. I must repay you. I'm at your service. I'm sure you can find a use for my talent. Hold on a second. Before we get all friendly, we should see if we're on the same page. You met Francis, right? What did you think of the guy? Your first impression? A greenish, a nerdy, awesome. <laughs> uh, he's a bit nerdy and a bit of a creep too. Not all nerds are creeps, but that one part is particularly creepy. Ah, I see, I see. Anything else about him catch your eye? 
He's a photo fanatic. He isn't a butterflies. He's irresistible. <laughs> oh, that's way too funny, but it's so untrue. He is very into butterflies, we'll give him that. Oh, yes, I see how you would think that. So, Summertop, what what do you think about him? He's a monster. He's a tech geek. He's a stallion. He's a monster. He is a really, really large chameleon. So you think Francis is a nerdy butterfly fanatic? Basically, a monster. Well, imagine that. You and I feel the same way about him. We've got great harmony. Yep, I think we'll work perfectly. Together, nothing can touch us. I think that was attempting to be a British accent, but I know in my mind that is not good whatsoever. <laughs> Carrie, the hovering platform pixel has joined your party. Cool. When you're riding Carrie, you'll move faster and can breeze over spiked floors. With me, you can get places in a hurry. Go ahead, give me a spin. Uh, sounds cool. How does this work, though? Can I... Ooh, I can go over spikes. Yay! I can't go down this pipe, though. I don't... What's the point of that pipe? Where does that even go? Well, I suppose I just have to make my way back up here. Yeah, that works. Okay. Well, I'm glad I found that room regardless, because I probably wouldn't have known it was back there otherwise. So what is in this room, then? Uh, there's more butlers. Welcome home, Master. Today is the street day for Prince of the Unicorns, Volume 5. Do not forget. Uh, this other one wants to talk to me, too. Welcome home, Master. A baseball game in extra innings has delayed the start of Starship x Not. I adjust the record on Meow's start time by 30 minutes to compensate. Uh, sounds good. I don't know if these are vases or water jugs all along the wall here. That's a bit weird. Welcome home, Master. The new space combat sim, Starship x Not Space Bloops, has arrived by mail. And he, I have to say he's got a, a lot of work going on for him. Welcome home, Master. Today is a street date. I already... <sighs> Wasn't there a fourth one? I thought there was a fourth one. Ah, oh, there we go. I have finished removing com commercial breaks from your recorded programs. Uh, thank you. I was trying to find where that fourth one went. Uh, there's this giant door with a cat face on it, so, uh... Reminds me of Japan a little bit. And there's, uh, also voices coming through the, uh, keyholes. Oh god. Sweet! The resolution on these images is just breathtaking. Yeah! I can't do a, a geek voice whatsoever. Hi, technical. Yeah, I can't do that. No, I'm not gonna try it anymore. Oh, uh, no. Tippy, we found Tippy and Francis, apparently. Um, is there anything in 3D? That'd be a good idea to check. Doesn't seem like there is anything in 3D. So, uh, let's try this again. Uh, I didn't want to talk to you. Can't do much else at the moment. I think I'll just keep moving forward. What are we gonna find over here? More cat, more cat thingies. I have cataloged all of Master's comics and filed them away. Do not think I did it out of the kindness of my Rebo heart. They were beginning to clog vital fire-free escape routes from the castle. Or fire escape routes. I don't know what I was reading. Um. Oh, okay, there's a staircase leading up above. Can fr friend? Oh god. That's not cool. I don't think I can do anything about this thing. Can I blow it up? Is it invincible? I don't know. That does not appear to have any effect whatsoever. Oh my god, there's just a big pile of them down here now. Oh god. Oh god, I'm actually really close to dying. Holy crap. Let me go through here first. Um, should probably grab some health. Fresh veggie, that works. So anything in 3D? 
Uh, those look like enemies. I think I saw them before. Oh god, no, I'm trying to jump! I'm tr- Oh my god, I'm trying to jump! I'm trying to do the, uh, spe Oh god, hi, there's even more of them. Oh my god, I'm trying to shake the controller, but it doesn't want to respond at all. Oh my god. Quiet in the hallway, stomping the steps, master's nap time. And there are doors hanging from here. Well, that wait, what does it say again? Stopping the service master's nap time. Oh, do we need to do the thing? There's not much else in here. So yeah, let's uh see if Fudley can do something about this. Yeah, that works. Okay. <laughs> There's just a door hanging on the wall. It's like, what do I do about that? Um... This looks like a dead end, seemingly. Yeah, I, I thought those uh, blocks were colored weird, but yeah, it looks like I can't jump up here. Probably need to use a uh, peach to go further, though. And then back to Mario to move up further. I don't like that thing. It's super scary and creepy. And I can just jump on those guys and get rid of them. Doesn't look like I can defeat the uh, one that's shooting everything out. Um, Are we outside? Yeah, I guess we're outside now. Oh, hello. Now they fly and they have skirts on. I oh god. Hi. Don't like you. I'm getting a lot of coins. I should really uh, buy some stuff. Can I jump up there? Seems like it's too high. I, I may have screwed something up. Is there anything in 3D? No. It does look like, however... No, oh, that was that was wrong. Don't do that. Maybe I need to grab it with Thorough? Oh god. No, no, I want to grab you. Oh, please, come on. I, I thought I could grab you... There we go, okay. Let's see if this works. Yeah, that works fine. Okay, cool. Looks like it's forming a bridge all the way to the right somewhere. Oh, is this that right door, left door situation? Are we coming across that? Really glad I messed jump on that. That's not cool. Are you serious? There we go. Um, is there... Okay, so it is just, you know, fully wide. Okay. Wasn't sure. There's the store. Um, hi? You have reached the door to Master's private room. For security purposes, you must confirm your identity. Answer the following security questions with either true or false. Video game soundtracks are so totally high technical. Uh, true. Yeah. I mean, Nintendo's really good at music, I have to say. Episode 127 of The Garotus Chronicles is pretty much the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> true. One day, I will own all of the Starship x Not Series 3 collectible action figures. That's true. Now you must enter the passcode. Oh. Oh crap. Uh, was it this? No, wait, no. I think this door on the left, isn't it? <gasps> Yay, okay, I, it was left door, okay. Not left shark, just left door. <laughs> Welcome home, master. Secure meow, missed you. What? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Apple five. Oh, it just formed a door. Okay, that's that's pretty cool though. I like that. It's all uh <laughs> all old ass computery style. Whoa! This is reminiscent of Thousand Year Door, I have to say. Um Is that an enemy? Should I be avoiding this? 
I can pick it up. Oh my god. That's really funny. Um, I probably want to pick that up. Ooh. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need that. Okay, can I jump up here? Since I feel like there's gotta be a way for me to, to get up to that platform. No? Is there an easier way? No? I think I just need to jump on top of it. Oh, oh, okay. It does hurt me if I run into it. Okay. I'm trying to jump up here. There we go. Thank you. But yes, there's so many punies and uh, <laughs> Detective Vivian. Like, all the Thousand Year Door stuff. It's pretty cool. And there's also Bo and uh, Bootler up there, which were in the original Paper Mart. Oh, I just noticed a peach poster on the door. Oh, that's super creepy. Don't do that. No, I- what? I did not go through the door. Are you serious? Yeah, that peach poster is creepy though. So, how far do I have to go somewhere else? Oh wait, that's uh, two jumps. Okay. You're dead. Oh god. That works. Okay, cool. I figured out that if I jump- if I press a tube button as soon as I uh, jump on something, I can jump higher and it's easier for me to do uh, stylish moves. So I should really uh, try- I should really try doing that more often, I think. So what's in the other door? Can I pick you up too? Oh my god, I can. That's- that's pretty funny. Um, I do need to get out of here and, uh, try the other door that I saw. Ought to be a good idea. So what's in the other door? <laughs> and he's got Thudley out again, of course. So what is through here? That looks like spikes. I'm gonna need Carrie to get through here, just in case. Yeah, okay, it's all over the place, so, uh, use Carrie to go through here. This is, I think, my first time using Carrie, like, out in the world. That looks like another, uh, another one of the maid bots. You have reached the door to Master's super secret lair. Only Master is allowed inside. You must confirm your identity for security purposes. Do they not see that I'm not a gigantic green chameleon? Like, really? To confirm your identity, answer true or false to the following statements. Starship x non comics are never to be removed from their plastic sleeves. Role-playing games should be no less than 180 hours long, not including side quests. Dude, that's a really long game. <gasps> Fanny packs are both practical and stylish. Please enter the secret passcode. Uh, two, three, two, three, okay. Welcome home, Master. Master's fantasy fortress is safe from intruders. And that would be a meow thingy. That's creepy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's super interesting. Now we're, uh, using an elevator and there's another room full of things. Oh, there's a GameCube up there. Oh. Oh, there's like all sorts of stuff. There's an N64, GameCube, NES, Super NES, uh, Virtual Boy. Well, actually, no. Is there an N Is there an NES? I don't know. What? Must buy this month. Excess Express train set. Miss Mouse Doll with real smooching action. Survival horror romance sim. Larry Cuba, Zombie Heartbreaker. Magnus von Greppel figure, tanuki suit made with real tanuki fur, Harder Than Bedrock, The Rockhawk Story DVD, issue 47 of Cyborg Wart, and that radio controlled Professor Frankly, and a lot more sweet stuff. I did not know, know these notes were here. Anything else? Geek Log Date 11.26, Mood Renty. The sun is bright outside, so I'm going to stay in and watch the blubbening. Season 1 has better writing and voice acting than the later seasons. I mean, come on! Everything went totally downhill after the big dream sequence. Still, the animation in the, in the scenes where Tubba Blubber battles robots is sweet! 
Season 3 was obviously just a vehicle for selling action figures and... and vehicles. <laughs> I never understood why they changed the sound effect when the princess appears. It was deet ding deet ling Then suddenly it was ding a deet ding a ding ling What? <laughs> As if no one would notice. Pfft, true fans care about important stuff like that. They should, to the sh they should totally run the show without commercials and let fans suggest storylines. That's what the fans want, and we're the only ones that matter. I guess I'll still buy the blubbing box set. The pre-order bonus is a costume. While I wait for it to come, I'll go online and tell everyone it's stupid. <laughs> oh, he just sounds like a typical online troll. Yeah, there's all, all sorts of uh, funny, fun stuff up there. I am a little bit trapped at the moment. Whoa! We got a huge TV, too. Oh, and there's a Wii right there. Oh my god, that's awesome. Can't make it up there. No. I must make it up there. Oh my god. I don't think I can make it up there. Are there other notes here? No, that that's all the same. Okay. Can I please just make it up on this thing? There we go. Made it. We got another key. Okay. Um, it doesn't seem like I really missed anything on the on the way up here. I think all I need to do is uh, make my way down to the main room again. Oh, did it just cut? That was weird. And you straight in the cross again. I think it was this way. Yeah. Maybe. What's? I I'm I'm already last. This house is too big for one person. Oh god. Let's uh, let's, let's try to avoid that guy. I don't like him very much. Oh, uh, I fell. Well, whatever that works. Suppose it's fine. Are we back in the main room yet? Is there a? Where's our safe block? Well, it, it seems like I, since I have two keys, that I need to use the keys on these two keyholes. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. So thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you next time when I'm going to use those two keys on that door. Uh, go in and rescue Tippy. Maybe hopefully find the pure heart while I'm there. And uh, we'll see what else we can do. That'll be fun.